So let's talk about the rather intriguing possibility that Games Workshop might have cancelled a fairly major Space Marine release. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Space Marines, and particularly focusing on the rules for armies like Ultramarines, Imperial Fists, and their Codex Chapter Friends. It appears to be getting rather late in the day for 9th edition 40k, and one thing that had been heavily rumoured previously really appears not to be materialising. Let's talk about the previous evidence that we had that Codex Space Marine supplements were getting a makeover, and how it seems quite possible that that might well not be happening now. First up, as 9th edition has rolled out, Games Workshop have basically been going through every single bit of the rules in 8th edition, and updating each army with a new in-depth codex. Towards the end of 9th edition now, we basically seem to have got most of the way. Aside from a few odds and ends like a couple of white dwarf supplements, I believe that the only main rules for the game that are still with 8th edition books are the assassin rules from Psychic Awakening War of the Spider, and a series of Codex Space Marine supplement books that came out around about a year before Games Workshop released 9th edition. These are the ones that I'm kind of interested in today, they're the ones for the less divergent Space Marine chapters, things like Ultramarines, Salamanders, Imperial Fists, Raven Guard, White Scars and Iron Hands. Generally I'd say that those supplement books have served their purpose fairly well, I think when they were designed they did do a fairly good job of pushing Space Marine armies in different ways, Iron Hands get on well with vehicles and heavy weapons for example, where Ultramarines get on nicely with things like standard intercessors, and favour a bit more of a balanced list with some buffing characters. Obviously it's not all been perfect, internal balance was a bit out of whack when they first released, with Iron Hands just being ridiculously strong, they did need some FAQs to adapt them to 9th edition and make them work, and going forward in 9th edition I'd argue their internal balance hasn't really got any better to be honest, Iron Hands really seem to be on top again with the change to Space Marine doctrines, and armies like Imperial Fist and Raven Guard have really struggled all edition long due to subpar rules in these books. Still though, I think that most people were expecting that at some point during the edition they would redo these ones, as they basically have redone everything else, and have set out a fairly established pattern for how they release these Codex Space Marine supplement books, with things like Blood Angels, Dark Angels, and Black Templars all getting their own supplements as the edition has rolled out. It would just seem very weird to me for Games Workshop to set out making an edition of Warhammer 40k, they'd be planning out roughly which books they'd be releasing in which order, and I just can't imagine that they'd say yes we'll redo most things but we can't be bothered with those books specifically, particularly when they're Space Marine ones, who do tend to attract more attention and rule support than most. The previous set of Codex supplements came out towards the end of the edition, and we had some good rumours and evidence that they might well be coming out towards the end of 9th edition, but so far that's appeared not to be the case. Perhaps the most obvious evidence that Games Workshop were planning to release these at some point was that they were mentioned in a fair few different leaks that seemed to be quite right about other things. Obviously the quality of leaks does tend to be a bit variable, but you can sort of get a bit of a grasp for the good ones where if you look back at the other stuff that they predicted and everything of that has been on the money, it gives you a bit more scope for trusting the other things that they predicted. A potential second edition of Codex Space Marines and the new Codex Chapter Supplements were mentioned by quite a few leakers. Say for example one that I found quite easily on reddit was this one from the 4th of July last year that did rather well predicting other things. This person predicted the exact release schedule for the rest of the next few books, Leagues of Votan, then Kill Team Into the Dark, Codex Astra Militarum, and then World Eaters with Angron, and that was before Angron's model had even leaked out yet. This was when a lot of people at this point were suspecting that Guard might be coming before things like Leagues of Votan, seeing as it was just them and Chaos Demons that needed their book redone so I feel like a lot of this wasn't very obvious at the time. Then following that, the next set of predictions were Missile Devastators and the Melee Dreadnought, both of which have now been revealed, as well as Primaris Terminators of some description, accompanied by read-on rules of the Space Marine supplements. Again, really quite a lot of accurate stuff here. Some sort of version of Primaris Terminators has been quite heavily rumoured for coming out in 10th edition. In any case, after this, they said apparently some sort of 10th launch box with Jump Marines and a Jump Captain, focusing on either Blood Angels or Dark Angels. Again, this does seem to be fairly in line with the other things that we've been hearing since. For me, it would just seem a little bit weird that they've got the entire release schedule basically bang on, then correctly predicted two new Primaris units, but then say just been mistaken or making up the rest. For one other example, there was also that Discord playtester leak from around the 4th of December 22. They gave us some specific names for the Brutalist Dreadnought and Desolators, which turned out to be the Desolation Squad. Said there was going to be a new Azrael and Dante. Obviously, we're still waiting on anything with Dante yet, but Azrael has been confirmed. The idea that the new units were coming in some sort of big space marine box set, which I guess is that Strike Force Agastus, 
And then further from that, Codex Space Marines isn't being redone in full, but the supplements are, and they even gave us a supposed new stat line for Abute Gilliman, based on playtesting that was being done for these books, apparently. Between these two leaks and other things like it, it really did sound like Codex Space Marine supplements were coming at least at some point. I'd also heard from a few other sources that I trust personally that they had heard some specific details as to playtest rules for the new supplements, such as new white scars being very strong. Nothing that seems particularly interesting or specific enough to make a video about, but at least seemed like soft confirmation as these people had told me accurate things before. Then, just as another potential bit of evidence, we had the Space Marine Battle Force sets. I think these did strike me and a lot of other people as a really weird release at the time. We got two of them at the same time as the Christmas Battle Force box sets, but they clearly looked really quite different in terms of style and packaging. And then we had an oddly split release of them, with the other four of them following after Christmas. We got one for each of the unreleased Codex supplements, Imperial Fists, Ultramarines, Salamanders, White Scars, Raven Guard and Iron Hands, but we didn't get any for the other ones that already had Codex Supplements out. There was no Death Watch one, no Blood Angels or Space Wolves one, and no Dark Angels or Black Templars one, despite a lot of those being really quite popular factions, and it would seem a little bit odd for them to be excluded in a Battle Force deal if Games Workshop wanted to sell their snazzy models to the most players. I think to a fair few people, just from the first impressions of them, they felt kind of similar to the launch boxes of a few of the other factions, the things where you got a codex plus a small army in the box set, plus maybe some data cards. I can't help but think with the slightly odd release that these got completely isolated from everything else, whether they were intended to release alongside the Codex Space Marine supplements, or actually intended to contain them inside them as a sort of launch box for each one of the chapters. The Games Workshop decided to pull the plug on and just release these separately and expected that a fair few people would buy some shiny Space Marines. Overall, between those three bits, the fact that they're basically the only codexes that haven't got 9th edition rules makeovers, the fact that a few credible sounding sources had leaked that they were coming, plus the fact that they had this weird Battle Force release, does make me think that Games Workshop maybe were planning to release these books at some point and then decided to pull the plug. I guess technically it's not impossible that they could just announce them just on some random preview, but at this point in the edition, when we basically have 10th edition soft confirmed in a few months' time, it just seems a bit unlikely. My guess is that the impending release of 10th edition probably is the thing that stopped these things from happening, if indeed they were planned in the first place. 10th edition is rumoured to be a hard reset of the Warhammer 40k rules, and it would potentially mean that these books will be releasing very, very close to the cutoff date. I kind of wonder if these might have been cancelled due to Games Workshop making some efforts to respond to criticisms about how they released their rule books. It does seem that they have been doing a bit of response to this recently, as with the Warzone release books. In early 9th edition, basically it looked like they planned to release Warzone X books all throughout the edition. Basically have those come out with a few extra narrative things, plus some army supplements and expansions for certain sub-factions. But they went down kind of horribly and probably didn't sell enormously well, just because if you were picking them up, then they were very expensive for a very small amount of rules relevant to your army. This basically led them to doing a bit of an about-face. They cancelled the books for the planned Warzone Nephilim series, and wound up releasing some supplemental Necrons Army of Renown content in White Dwarf instead of that. And then, as we know, with Arcs of Omen, rather than giving match play rules within the Arcs of Omen books, they decided to keep that purely for boarding patrol games, so you could basically pick it up if you wanted to play boarding patrol, but just completely leave it and ignore it if you didn't. In general, that was greeted as broadly good news from the player base, and it perhaps shows that Games Workshop is doing just a little bit to respond to criticisms about the rule books. And I guess that they've decided that they just don't want to release anything too major right before a big rules reset to try and avoid a little bit of expected backlash. Perhaps releasing a whole series of Space Marine books literally something like three months before an edition change would be too much for Games Workshop. Though admittedly it looks like World Eaters and Guard, if 10th edition does turn up in June or July, they'll still be cutting it pretty fine. Codexes that released literally six months before they got made redundant. I guess there's always the possibility that they've just been pushed back and they'll actually just use the resources and things that they've assembled for them to release them sometime in 10th edition. I guess we'll have to wait and see if that's the case. I'm sure a Codex Space Marine book will be coming pretty early in the edition, as it does normally. Let me know what you think, though. From these bits of evidence, do you think that Games Workshop did have a Codex Space Marine supplement book series that they cancelled? And if models like Rebute Gilliman indeed aren't going to be getting any sort of 9th edition statline update, how big of a deal would that be for your armies like Ultramarines and White Scars? In any case, hope you've enjoyed a slightly speculative video there. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as per always. 
and feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics if you'd like to see more like this. I do generally tend to keep 40k videos coming just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that link down in the video description below. If you've been enjoying the videos quite a bit on the channel, then any support with the Patreon is massively appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some really big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.